Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. These churches, right? They, te they teach us God's laws are done away with. So we go all the way backwards because we follow that garbage. Bring it out. We don't believe in this Bible no more. Right. We don't believe in it. Do you believe in the Bible? You believe, you be, exactly, me too. I mean too, I was raised in the church. Yeah. I got uh, uncles and aunties as ministers and pastors, evangelists, all that. Right. But you know what? The church didn't teach you your nationality, did they? Give me do the wrong. This Bible teach you who you are. I'm gonna I'm I'm read something for you and you tell me who this fits, right? Come on. This is a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 13. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hey, yo, my brother, what we're doing right now is I'm going to show you your nationality in the Bible, right? Because, what's your nationality? I'm uh, black. Black. Can, can I fly to the land of black? Where is it at? Exactly. So their nationality, it don't exist. Right. So I'm going to show you with the Bible, your nationality. So it says right here, because remember, I actually got kids, and if they don't follow your rules, right? Read it again. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken. So it says, if you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will not hearken. Hearken means to listen. If you will not listen, like you said, if your kids don't listen, you discipline them, right? If you will not hearken, come on. Will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. All his commandments, your rules in your house. If they don't do the rules in your house, you gonna discipline them, right? So it says right here, if you do not want to hearken unto his voice, right? Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. His laws and his statutes, which he command you this day. Not 3,000 years ago, this day. Because we're the same people from back then. We're the same people. Come on. That all these curses shall... All these curses. Is a curse a good thing? Is a curse a good thing? Bro, is a curse a good thing? I mean, y'all have seen movies where these gypsies say, I curse you. Does anything good come out of that? No. Nothing good comes out of that, right? Jesus! Hey, so a curse is a bad thing. Read on. I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, all these curses going to come upon us and overtake us. Now, I'm going to show you some of these curses. Get 46 real quick. Bring it out. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And for a wonder, because thou, oh, okay, the and they shall be upon thee for a sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So it said these curses shall be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. So a sign, right? I can see that's Jimmy's Crab Shack, right? That's how I know that's Jimmy's crab shack. That's a sign. Jeez. So he said these curses are going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. And upon what? Okay. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. And upon our seed. That means our kids. Right. So when this happened to us in slavery, all these curses came upon us. Right. They was passed on from generation to generation. Bring so they're going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. Read 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So God says, cursed shall you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans be in the city. Jeez. This is the city of Chicago, right? Are we cursed? Jeez. Are we cursed? Bring it out. My brother, are we cursed? You don't think we cursed in the city of Chicago? How many of our schools been closed down? Bring it out. Teach. 
Do we get the same education as a white man in their neighborhoods? Teach. That's a curse, my brother. Right. Do our neighborhoods have the same store type of stores that they have in their neighborhood? Wake them up. That's a curse, my brother. Right. Our neighborhoods are full of liquor stores. Right. They, they, they neighborhoods ain't full of liquor stores. That's right. Our neighborhoods get the uh, the worst of the fruits and the vegetables Jeez. and the meat. They neighborhoods get the freshest stuff. Bring it out. That's a curse, my brother. Right. Our neighborhoods, we kill each other. We shoot each other down. People that look just like us. Hey, Is that not a curse, my brother? Oh, right down the street. Right in front of his kids. Bruh, is that not a curse? That's hatred. That's right. what I was just saying. How am I going to shoot somebody that looks just like me? Bring it out. How am I going to kill somebody that's my brother? Right. That's why you got to know who you are according to the Bible. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. We are brothers and sisters. We got to see God in each other. Right. When we start seeing each other differently, we ain't going to kill one another. Right. We ain't going to live like that. Our mentality is going to change. That's and it's right. going to change our whole community, our neighborhoods, and our, us as a nation. Right. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall we be in the city. We could go not just Chicago. Are we cursed in Atlanta? Are we cursed in L.A.? Right. Are we cursed in New York? Bring it out. When you search the news, all, you, all they show is us killing each other in our own neighborhoods. That's right. Black on black crime. Right. That's a curse across the world, and we do it. Bring it out. Because we don't know who we are. We don't see Christ in one another. We don't see ourselves in one another. We don't think that we're brothers. Right. If I didn't love my people, I wouldn't be out here doing this. Jeez. Like I said, I don't get paid to do this. Right. I'm out here because I want to see my community change. Right. I'm out here because I want to see a future for my kids. Right. That's, right. Bring it out. That's why we out here. We had to re re repair the decayed state of our people. Right. We are a stinking spoiled and robbed people. But well, we got to come together in order to change that. We got to lead the gangs, we got to lead the drill music and come together under this hill. This is our umbrella. Right. This Bible, the word of God, this is the only thing that's going to change us. Right. The churches, we got to definitely come up out of them things. You know why? Because they take us away from God. Right. They say, oh, we're supposed to be worshiping God on Sunday. Right. That ain't what the Bible say. That's right. They give us white Jesus to worship. That ain't what the Bible say. That's right. They tell us anybody can be saved. That ain't what the Bible say. Bring it out. So if they doing everything contrary to the Bible, why be in the churches? That's right. They clearly don't believe in the Bible. Bring it out. We out here to giving you thus saith the Lord. Right. Because this Jeez. is what's gonna change us. The only thing. I was in them streets. I was game banging, selling drugs, destroying my people. You know what changed me? This right here. That's right. This right here. This here breathing life into me. Because I was a dead man walking. Right. Dead man. Read. A curse shall thou be in the field. A curse shall we be in the field. How many jobs is out here? The unemployment rate is at an all time high, right? You know, that's why we say I got to sell drugs. Because ain't no jobs. You know why? Because we felons. We felons because we've been set up. You know, it's like this. When hunt season comes, right? A hunter know where to go hunt deer. He know where to go hunt pheasant. Right. You know why? Because they know the area where they at. Why we all in the same type of neighborhood? Why the police patrol our neighborhoods? What you think they doing? Teach! What you think they doing? Bring it out! They hunting. We the prey. But we don't know that, right? We don't know that we the prey. Teach! We think this is just uh, everyday natural living. This is this been going on for so long. It's, it's natural to us. When somebody die, it don't matter. Bring it out. Because... That's life, right? We all got to die. That ain't what the Bible say. We ain't got to die. Teach. Read. Read it again. Okay. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. In the field. We was cursed in the field during this time, right? In the cotton fields, the sugar cane, the rice, the fruit fields, the tobacco fields. Right. We was cursed during them times. And today we still curse because we got the lowest paying jobs. Right. We barely live paycheck to paycheck. Bring it out. We barely getting by. And now, and now, yeah, now they setting up uh, traffic signs to give you tickets. And you don't even know it. They mail you a ticket. Right. Talk about $100. Bring it out. Give me that in uh, Baruch 3 and 8. Hey, hey, look, every chance they get, they taking money from us. Right. Making it hard for us to live. That's why a lot of our credit is tore up. Because we can't get right because it's not set for us to be right. Right. In order for us to be right, we got to come back to this. Because right. we got to know how to move amongst our enemies. Right. 
The black man that look like you is not your enemy. The Hispanic man is not your enemy. Our enemy is the people that's killing us. Right. That's putting us in the neighborhood, that's giving us these poor conditions to live in and all this bad food. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. Man, that's heavy right there. I don't know if y'all caught this, so we're going to read it again slowly. All right, read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So we are yet this day in our captivity. That's why I say, back in the day of slavery, right, when you had to travel to another plantation, they gave you traveling papers. Is that out. not the passport? Is that not your driver's license? They track you by your license, your social security number. They track you, your birth certificate. They track us. Bring it out. We are yet this day in our captivity. Come on. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. So God has scattered us amongst all these nation of people for a reproach. Right. Because we went, we turned our back on him and went backwards away from him. Come right. on. For a reproach, a reproach and a curse. And a curse. Now that curse is again, bro. Do you see how I'm showing you that when we fought, when we look at the Bible and we read this, is it not talking about us? It's talking about us, ain't it? Bro, I used to read this Bible left and right, up and down, back and forth. But I never understood it. You know why? Because I didn't see myself in it. Bring it out. If this was written by a black man to black people, did you know there's color in the Bible? Colors in the Bible. Jeez. You, you was honest, and I like that. You was honest. You said, yeah, I don't really believe in that Bible. You know why? It's because it was taught to us by a white man. Right. You know what I'm saying? If if you giving your kids some instructions, right, but somebody else is giving them different instructions, who are they supposed to believe? Exactly. So they can't instruct your kids on how you want them to walk, can they? Bring it out. Because only you know they rules. Only you own. Oh, they only understand what you're giving them, Please. not what somebody else telling them. And the Bible was written to us by us. And I'm going to show you that. Bring and to be subject to payment. Are we not subject to payments? They take taxes out of our checks every week, right? Right. Every week. And then they, at, at, uh, at the beginning of the year, they want to say, oh, we're going to give y'all some change back. They didn't take 10000 from us and give us 2000 back. Bring it out. We're subject to payments, right? Come on. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. All the sin and all the wickedness that our fathers did when they turned their back on our father. You know what I'm saying? That's why we that's why we went into slavery. That's why we remember I said it's gonna be on our seed forever. So because of what our forefathers did, we pay for it today. Right. But now we've learned because we can read now. We can read now and we understand that we gotta come back to our father that's and right. listen to him. Like Say your kids do something bad, they want to run away. But then they come back, oh, Dad, I'm sorry. I know I was wrong and you was right. That's how we got to come back. Right. We was wrong. We was wrong, now we got to come back to get right. Come on. Which depart from the Lord our God. Because we departed from the Lord our God. Go back to Deuteronomy. Now I'm going to show you another curse. And you tell me if this is not us. I'm supposed to hold that, my brother. We gotta, we gotta come back, and I'm gonna show you. All right, check this out. Uh, read 32. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. All right, so we're gonna read that again. We're gonna read it slowly. All right, take your time. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So God says, our sons and our daughters shall be given to another people. We know that that happened in slavery, right? That's we know that happened. You see Roots? When they took Izzy, what did the mama do? Cried, 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 but she had no might, right? Teach. What happens when DCFS come in your house? Bring it out. Ain't nothing you can do, right? No might. Read that. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. 
all you could do is long for them. Right. That's all you could do. Even on the border with our so uh, the so-called Mexicans, our brothers, they taking their kids, telling them, go get a DNA test and prove it's your kid. You just took the kid from me. Bring it out. You literally just took my kid from my hand, Jeez. and now you want me to go get a DNA test to prove that this kid that you literally just took from me is mine? Bring right. it out. Read it again. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There's no might in our hand to get our kids back. See? We just out there like, damn, what you want me to do? What do I have to do to get my kids back? Right. That's our mindset. Right. You know what I'm saying? Showing you that the Bible is a real book, bro. It's a real book. Yes. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity.